It's good to be back. I am so excited to get more learning out of the magic wheel. Right, Ruby? Okay, let's go. Here it is. Science! Oh, that's a big topic. I wonder what we'll be learning today. Hmm, what do we have here? Okay, it seems that we have some water. We have some lamp oil that's blue. We have some food coloring. We have two empty soda bottles, a funnel, and this little connector cap thing. Did I mention lots of water? Use the bottles to make a whirlpool. That sounds great, Ruby. Well, I know you're scared of water, but don't you even worry, old pal, because we're gonna make the whirlpool inside of the bottles. You'll be safe, I promise. Okay, let's see. To make a whirlpool, we have to pour water into one of these bottles. We got this. I'm gonna use this funnel and start pouring the water in. Ruby, if you don't stop beeping, I might spill the water. You gotta focus. I think we twist that on. There. But first, I kinda wanna spice up this water and add a little bit of red food coloring. Red's one of my favorite colors, you know. There we go. Well, water and oil don't mix, right? So I wonder what will happen if we put in some oil too. <laughs> Let's do it. Move this out of the way. Actually, we'll need that. And adding some oil. Enough for that. Put the cap back on for safety. Okay, now to screw on the other bottle on top. And here we go, upside down. It's not working. Oh, maybe we need to help it round, spin it a little, give it a little nudge. You got it, buddy. Here we go. Flipping and spinning. Ooh. <gasps> Ruby, look, a whirlpool. It's working. <gasps> we did it. And guess what, little buddy? You didn't even get soaked with water this time. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks so much for your help, Ruben. Join us next time, friends, as we learn fun new stuff with the magic wheel. Should we do it again, Ruben? I think so. <laughs> Look at the world.